Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and I'm going to be recording for all of you a quick tutorial video showing you how to change a few of the settings in iOS 7 so that you have better battery life. Um, for those of you who have just recently gotten a brand new iPhone or if you've upgraded your old iPhone to the latest operating system which is iOS 7, you may have noticed that some of the improvements are great but the battery life not so much. So here are a bunch of little tricks to help improve it. Now before we begin I do want to give credit where credit is due and I want to say a quick thank you to Juan Pisani who sent me an article that was written by a gentleman by the name of Jason O'Grady who works for ZDNet. So thank you to both of them. Let's begin. Now there's a bunch of tricks I'm going to show you and most of them, all but one really, are in settings. I'm going to first show you the one trick that isn't in settings and that has to do with the feature of multitasking. So as you go through your iPhone and you gather more and more apps, you start to use them, they start to run in the background and the idea is that you can quickly switch back and forth between them, however the more that you run, the worse the battery life. So the first thing to do is to end multitasking and you want to do this somewhat frequently. Personally, I do it once every three days. Some of you who do a lot of apps may need to do it more than that. So here's how you do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click the home button at the very bottom, one, two. And when you do that, the screen lifts up and you're going to see all the apps that are running in the background. To end them from multitasking, you can simply swipe up on each preview window and it'll disappear. Okay, and you can do that for all of them. Uh, you can see here that you can see mine right now it has Facebook right there, but right next to it is music. You can actually use two fingers and you can slide up more than one at a time. And if you have really skinny fingers, you can technically do three. I just can't do that. That's the first trick. Now, the all the other tips are in settings. So let's go into settings right now and I'll walk you through each of them. Now, there's quite a few, so you may want to pause this video and follow along on your phone if you like. Um, the first is to go into privacy, which we're going to scroll down here, and privacy. Okay, and we're going to go into, we're going to scroll to the very bottom where it says advertising, and we're going to tap on that. Now, I've already done this, and you want to make sure that limit ad tracking is turned on. Also, if you like, you can hit reset advertiser identif advertising identifier just to wipe out any information they may have on you. The next step is you're going to scroll just a little bit up and you see here where it says location services. We're going to tap on that and you can go through here and any apps that you really don't care about that really need to know your location, you can turn off. So for example, 8mm is a video recording app. I don't care if it knows where I am. I'm going to turn that off. And there's a whole bunch in here, but the key thing is I'm going to actually scroll way to the bottom. Oops, I scrolled too fast. There we go. Scroll to the very, very bottom, and you'll see where it says System Services. We're going to go right into that. And you'll see the two, the three rather, that I recommend turning off. Diagnos diagnostics and Usage, Location-Based iAds, and if you don't live in a city, you can turn off traffic. If you do, you may want to keep that. Okay. The other big one is at the very bottom where it says frequent locations. Make sure you go into that one. This is a big one and turn it off. Next, going back to the main settings page, we're going to go down into Safari. And in Safari, you're going to uh, go to the very bottom here and make sure that where it says do not track, you want to make sure that that is checked. I kind of hate these double negatives. It gets very confusing. Another one, uh, a feature that they introduced in iOS 7 were some of these wallpapers, which we're going to go into right now. And specifically, I'm talking about the dynamic ones. So the dynamic wallpapers, what they do is they have kind of these bubbles. I think they look a little bit like lens flares, um, like you're in a J.J. Abrams film. And they kind of float around, and if you move your phone, they move around. And it's kind of cool. I actually like it on the iPad, um, but the iPad has a much bigger battery. So by using that, you're going to have worse battery life. So the f tip in wallpaper is to either use one of the still images that Apple provides or one of your own photos, really either or. And then 
Another feature of this is you're going to want to set the brightness to something less than 100%. Okay, yes, the phone looks amazing when it's at 100%. It also takes a lot of battery to do that. So what I recommend doing is keeping it at around half. And you can use this auto brightness feature. Because if you're in total darkness, you don't need your phone very bright. It just has to be lit a little bit and you're good to go. So what will happen is the sensor in the phone will it'll sense the lighting conditions and adjust it accordingly. And then there's one more big one, which is located in general. You're going to scroll down into accessibility. And in accessibility, towards the bottom, there's this thing here that says reduce motion. Now, by default, it is turned off. You are going to want to turn it on. Again, a double negative. What that has to do with is if you move the phone kind of back and forth, it'll move the background to make it look, it'll make the icons look 3D-ish, okay? It's kind of a cool feature. Unfortunately, it does use a lot of battery life. So simply turn that on and you should be in good shape. Uh, oh, there's one more, sorry, almost forgot. Back in general, uh, you're gonna go down here to the very bottom where it says background app refresh. Okay, and same thing, you're going to want to go through here and any apps that you really don't care that much about, you can turn them off. Again, 8mm. All of these were set by default to be on. So, to give you an idea, I've turned quite a few off. Um, if you want to get really aggressive, you can turn all of them off. But some of them actually are kind of cool in, in regards to uh, like reminders, as an example. Um, so that when I get home, if I use a reminder that's location-based, it'll tell me, to do whatever it is I tell it to. So use those tricks and you should be in good shape. I hope you'll check out our website if you have not already done so. PCClassesOnline.com is the world's first free virtual classroom service built specifically for baby boomers and beyond. This is David A. Cox, the founder of PC Classes Online, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Take care.